Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a little Wally World haul today. I popped into Walmart the other day because I had to return a package and I was like, hmm, it's 8 a.m., no one's here, let me browse. And so I found a bunch of summery springtime stuff, including some bathing suits. I already have this one on, so we might as well start here. This is a time and true brand. Of course, everything will be linked down below. This is the time and true brand, so they do have plus sizes, like actual plus sizes, um, but swimsuits. They're tricky business. Each piece was $16.88, so you're looking at about 34 bucks, basically, for a two-piece plus size swimsuit. It's not bad. Quality-wise, upon like putting it on, there's nothing that stands out as it being low quality. Um, sometimes you do run into the problem of things becoming kind of transparent once they get wet. Uh, but this one is blind. Can you see? Maybe. This one is lined. I will comment on the fit, obviously. The bra, the top, it's great. It has molded cups. Um, it's great for my chest and I love the straps because they kind of put that little fatty part, you know, by the armpit. You guys know what I'm talking about. It kind of like scoops it up and says, come with us. And then it goes over the shoulder and it's not a halter top, which I love because I, I don't like halter tops. They like stress my neck and then I get a headache and I don't know, I'm just, apparently this is what 32 looks like. But they are a molded wired cup. They have a little bit of padding, not too much, but you can definitely get a little cleave going on if you, uh, if you have what's necessary, if you have the proper equipment, not all of us do. But the back is so comfortable. I extended the straps all the way, which was 100% necessary. <laughs> um, so if you have a much larger chest, I imagine it might be a little more uncomfortable because I have them fully extended. So if you, obviously, if your chest was even bigger, then you might have more tension on your shoulders with this one. But I do like the cross in the back. It's definitely giving support. And then you can tie this all by your lonesome, how tight or loose you want it. But let's get into, is that a cat? Is a cat crying? Coco. Baby mama, let's do it. We gotta film, come on. For the bottoms, I would say they just, they run a little small, but for me personally with my bottoms, I'm a size 16, 18 typically, right? With my panties, with my shapewear, with um, swim, I tend to always size up if this is the only part of my body it's covering, always. Pretty much always. So I got them in a 1X just because I wanted some consistency and I wanted to see if the 1X was running like true, true 1X or, you know, plus 1X or a straight 1X. And I would say that it, it runs like a, a plus 1X, but because there's just not a lot, there's not a lot for me to work with, not a lot of material, um, I personally would benefit from going up a size in the bottoms because they never, never, as many years as I've bought Walmart swimsuits, they never freaking cover enough like they never go quite high enough it's like they're like okay we can call this a high rise but can you because like if you see my belly button she's not a high rise in order to be high she must be concealed this up here this would have been a high rise and how much better would this have looked my my waist would have been um you know a little a better line here on the side instead of the extra like little longhita that I have, um, it, it would have been better higher up and that's just kind of what you come to expect at Walmart with their swimsuits. Maybe one year they'll change, but the same thing years. So I think it looks good, it's comfortable, it feels good, but like I said, I would have sized up at the bottom and then I would have really, this, would, this is a great swimsuit. I mean, you get the right size, you're doing something with this one, honey. Is the lighting different now? I just stopped to take a one hour phone call with my finance guy in between these two bathing suits. Uh, hello, I'm filming. Shout out Tim Jackson, my finance guy at Northwestern Mutual. I'll leave his info down below if you guys need somebody to talk to. He's my favorite, like, favorite person that manages things for me. Besides my boyfriend, he's he's number two. Don't tell anybody. Okay, this swimsuit though. What do we think? This is obviously a one. What well, is it obvious? I don't know. It's a one piece. It's really cute. It has the optional straps for this so they're just tucked in they're blue right yeah they're blue and then they have the pads in here they are removable there's a little hole in the center this is adjustable so you can make it a little longer a little looser sorry i'm out of focus um you <laughs> i feel really golden right now i think my lighting is off um you can adjust the this little area here i do like that it's together that's really nice and even though it's strapless i don't feel like it's gonna fall off and look at how high they did the bottom Yes, this is what I'm talking about. If you want to be high-waisted, be high-waisted. Don't do this in-between stuff. It doesn't work for me personally. It might work on somebody's body, but most of the bodies that I'm looking at, like if you just had a little bit more, 
you would feel a little bit better in it. Um, and then the back, you just tie, it does, you know, you can adjust more one way or the other. And then, like I said, full coverage for the butt. I like the stripes. I know some people think you should like stay away from stripes if you're fat, but like I'm fat and I wear them and I look really good when I do. So those are my two cents. <laughs> oh, and this one was only um 1988, I think. It's like 20 bucks basically. So feels good for the, the price. I like it. Drop the brightness a little, but I still feel really glowy. I think it's the makeup. I did it differently today and I think I like it. At first I thought I didn't, but now I'm feeling better about it. So let's talk this swimsuit. This is at Time and True Brand again, which is the one that does go up into plus sizes. I did purposely try to pick things that I knew would go into plus sizes instead of being like on that cusp of me trying to squeeze into the biggest side of, size of a straight size. Like that's not a fun game to play with swimwear. I'll play that game with blouses, with jackets, not with jeans. I'll play that game with pants. I'll play that game with dresses all day, every day. I will play that game. But with undergarments and swimsuits, and no, no, your base always has to be right. You need a good foundation. And with swimwear, the foundation is your body. And there's nothing wrong with your body. But you need to actually accentuate things that you want to accentuate. And maybe just make sure that you feel really comfortable in whatever it is that you're wearing. Because if you feel uncomfortable, you're going to look uncomfortable. If you look uncomfortable, you're just not going to go through life the same way that you would if you had a little bit more confidence in how you looked in your outfit. Even when that outfit is basically a bra and panties, aka a swimsuit. So... This I got a 1X on the top and bottom. The top fits in terms of like, is it big enough? Yes. Um, but it's not ideal. You know who I think this would look better on is a more athletic body. Um, I just think it would really complement that sort of frame. More so than my frame, it's kind of widening me here uh, unnecessarily. And I don't think the keyhole is doing anything to help the situation. Although overall, really comfortable, nice thick straps. Again, they are adjustable and I fully adjusted mine. I like how it fits on the back. All in all, really nice, really cute and everything. And then the bottoms I find are ever so slightly higher than those first bottoms that I showed you. And I don't think I need a 2X. I think it looks good. It actually makes my body, I think it's very complimentary. <laughs> um, I am afraid of them being a little see-through because I have panties on underneath and you can definitely see the print through them so like if these were wet and you know you could potentially see something through them a little bit um and you're not gonna wear panties under your you know your bathing suit right or i don't know live your life but this also has a little keyhole over the booty <laughs> the booty hole that's what i said on tiktok follow my tiktok if you want more booty hole talk um yeah i you know i don't feel my best but i think it's cute and i think that this could really work like i said for an athletic body i think it I just really feel like it would look good on that type of body. Um, but the bottoms, if you're thinking about it, I don't necessarily think you need to size up. If you do size up, what happens sometimes when you size up bikini bottoms, panties, stuff like that, is that then the cheek becomes too loose. Um, at least that's what happens for me. So yeah, I get more coverage in the stomach area, which I love, I live for. But then like, I don't need a, le like a loose booty area. That's that's no, that's not cute ever. No. This is my fourth and final swimsuit and then we're gonna get into the shorts and stuff. I like it. I, I like the top. It's very sort of flimsy. It's got, that's not a nipple. Just so you, is that a nipple? No, it's not. I was like, damn, that's like really askew. I should get that checked out. Um, No, that's just part of the pad. Again, the pads are, what? They're not, are they? They're not removable. I mean, girl, oh yeah, they are. I was gonna say, but where there's a will, there's a way. You can always remove a pad. They're very thin, but they're almost creating like this odd sort of shape. So I probably would take them out. Um, but then for sure, you're gonna see nip because these are not, it's just not that thick. Uh, but I, I think it's really cute, especially if you have a more petite chest and you don't need much support because I'm feeling loosey-goosey in this one. Like I'm definitely feeling like there's gonna be a little more jiggle up here. Um, so to, you know, take that as you will. Uh, the bottoms, again, if, if you just give me one more inch, one more inch, Walmart, time and true, you would be killing the game. Torrid who? For real though, Torrid who? Cause they, the sizing on Torrid, don't get me started. Just don't get me started on the sizing on Torrid swimsuits because I, we will literally be here all day. So um, I still like it. I still think it's cute. Like they're still giving us cute summer girl vibes, right? Like. Well, I know it's springtime. Today's actually April Fool's Day, so 
suckers. All this stuff is actually from Target. You fools. I'm just kidding. It's from Walmart. Um, wouldn't that have been funny though? I mean, not really, but like a little bit. Uh, again, you're seeing a little bit, you know, you can see the, the draws back here, but it's a light color. It is lined, but it's not, you know, it's a light color. It is what it is. I will say the coverage in the back is really high and it's very comfortable overall. So again, time and true, again, 1X, 1X. I would not size up in these bottoms because I think it would give me the saggy booty thing I was telling you about. Um, and, and then these come off in the front, but not in the back. Well, they do come off in the back. I was like, that's so stupid. Why would you do it? No, you're so stupid. Okay, I get it now. Um, no, I would never trust this without the straps oh hell i kind of like it better this way yeah yeah give them shoulder girl give them collarbone girl wait how do i make it pop out <laughs> now while i was perusing the shelves of walmart for the clothing i went to the other side the non-junior side and it was just hard to find stuff that i really liked they had some basics they had some good tanks and tees that kind of stuff um but i was looking for like a full outfit i was looking for a blouse i was like give me fashion you know and my walmart was not giving me fashion now there are other walmarts and if you're interested in seeing a round two of this game let me know, cause I've got nothing but time. This top came from, all of this stuff basically came from the junior side. So the sizes that I have are size 19, which is I think like an XXL. And then it's an XXXL as a 21. I could be one X off. Anyway, the top was $10. I did think it was cute, little peasant kind of top, little smocking here. It's all stretchy, nice little comfy sleeve. 10 bucks, like I'm happy with that. And then you have booty shorts, okay? These are no boundaries. These are booty shorts. These are like what I would have ordered off Fashion Nova or something. I got nothing but cheek in there. Like as soon as the cheek in, the, the denim ends too. But the front I actually, I like, I love a triple button. I'm a triple button girl, love a triple button. Functional pockets. They didn't have to give it to us, but they did. Thank you. And the shorts were $11.88, I think. Again, no boundaries. So it's Junior's brand. It's going to be a little bit smaller. I did try to get some other options, though, because I know we don't all want to wear booty shorts. Some of us want to wear thigh shorts. Is that what we're calling them? Let's call them that. All right, up top, we have just a real, this is like the smoothest, silkiest feeling little cami. It is very comfortable. It's really nice. Um, it's a full length. I'm going to leave it tucked, but this was only $5.98. This was like nada. I mean, this was, this is nice. And then we have these shorts. Now, I love shorts like this, okay? I, if you've seen my, uh, if you watch my vlog channel, you've seen the green ones. They're hideous, but they're beautiful. They're the best. They're so comfortable because you have a full on denim short, you have the buttons or the zipper or whatever it is that they put on there, you know? And then you have this. You have the equivalent of stretch pants around your belly. And look, I don't know about you, but this week I was like bloated and I wanted to cry and I was like mad at everybody and it was like a whole thing. And I would have killed to have something like this on, okay? I don't have this in a jeans format, like a full length. And it was too cold to be playing shorts games this week, but I would have killed, okay, because I had people here like quoting me for the blinds and that made me want to cry, but uh, like, uh, guys, just just open your mind up to the possibility of wearing something like this. If you don't like the top, just, just wear something over it, you know, wear a shirt that covers it, okay? But just allow your body to be blessed by the greatness that is like these little stretchy, ugh. And listen, if you want one that's like really SRV approved, just wait, okay? Just, I'll just show them to you, okay? Just. <laughs> just wait a little bit so these ones fit pretty loose actually they were again 11.98 oh 11.98 these are an ultra high rise um oh and i was right they are an xxl or a t a t an xxl or a size 19 uh functional pockets as you can see it has button closure and then um they're a little bit longer than seems definitely a little bit longer this is sewn so you can cut it if you snip it but other or Sorry, you could unfold it if you snip it, but otherwise it's, you know, it's rolled. Um, and it's got a little extra down here under the booty cheek for me, but so comfortable. These are so comfortable. Again, they're no boundaries, so they do go up to a 21. <sighs> this is so cute. This is not how I would style it. I mean, I don't hate it though. Hold on, let me think about her for a second. No, I don't hate it. I wouldn't style it this way just because it's like a little too, this is like how I used to dress way back in the day and I give myself like freaking just 
I don't like to feel like how I used to feel when I was younger and I felt bad about myself and I would dress a very specific way. I would layer all my tees. I would, you know, there was a lot of this. There was a lot of pillows in front of me. There was like a lot, it's just a time I like to leave where it was. And so there are certain styles and certain things I did back then that I just would never do now purely because I have earned the right in my own life to look at myself differently and to feel differently about myself. So cami, like simple plain cami under something like this, it's like loose and flowy. It's just not what I would do. That being said, I don't actually think it looks bad. But denim jacket, denim jacket would bring this together. Crop little denim jacket, hold on, now we're talking. Crop little denim jacket, little pair of sandals, a little crossbody bag, some kind of color to bring this stuff in. One moment. Oh my god, my cat was sleeping in there. I woke him up. Crop jacket, sandals, Hollister, in case you're curious. Yes, they also make ah! clothes that'll fit fat folk like me. The pink? No. The yellow? That's too much of a statement. The blue? Who do we want to be? Okay, my all-time, well, this is just one of my all-time favorite crossbodies. I get them from Edie's Boutiques, which is like out of business, and if you know where to get them, tell me where to get them. They're the one with the one zipper over the top, but when you open it, it's a triple, and there's a zipper on the inside and a little wristlet thing. Ugh, it's the best, but it's so hard to find now, and there's no freaking information inside of it. No, it just says made in China. Shocker! To be fair, I was at Walmart looking for things to like, fully tie in and make it become an outfit. And I think I just hit it a little bit too soon because it was like mid-March <laughs> when I went shopping. And I think everything just wasn't out yet. So I had trouble finding sandals and stuff like that, but that's okay, you need like staples. You need a neutral sandal or two or three. Or girl, throw away them sandals that you have had for 16 years that are like barely grasping onto their leg. Get rid of them. Or take them to a damn cobbler and have them fix them, okay? I have had sandals that I've loved so, so, so much that I actually went through the effort of fixing that $10 pair of sandals and just bringing a little bit of life back to them by, you know, adding new elastic, shining the hardware, fixing the soles a little bit. Do what you gotta do, but like, don't be that girl with a crusty ass sandal game, okay? It's rough. Walmart does have some cute sandals. Um, they just didn't have my size, so I couldn't get them. But now we have an outfit, honey. This was only 10 bucks. This is from No Boundaries 2, also in a size 19. Um, this, I will say, is a little bit short. Like, if I bend, we're gonna have booty for sure. I guess I could pull it down on the back, but actually that solves the problem. Just pull it down to the back. That's it, what do you think? I like it, I mean, this is like my little summertime kind of outfit, and then if you're a big girl and you have big girl problems, most of you already know what I'm gonna say, but I have big girl solutions, okay? Yes, there are other things on the market that you can buy. Yes, there are. This is amazing. What is on mine? I don't know, something crusty. It's fine, we just moved. Everything touched each other, just leave me alone. Monosat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. Rub this bitch on. Look, and when I say rub it on, I mean rub it on, okay? It's not expensive relative to like general things you probably have in life. That's less than a cup of Starbucks, okay? A nice hunk of it. Two hands, take a step back so you can see, go all up in there, okay? And my legs touch all the way to the coochie. You kind of see like the dark area between my thigh. It's not quite that dark like when I open my legs, but it's fine. Um, rub it all over there, okay? It goes on and it basically feels like a dry kind of powder afterwards. Go out, live your life. Your legs are gonna be totally fine. Oh my gosh, they're starting to hurt a little bit. Put more on. Do you know what I do? This? goes in here. It's that simple. Oh my gosh, we've been walking for eight hours. Put more on. Oh my gosh, I got a little bit of, you know, I got wet, we went on a water ride or something, I don't know. Put more on. Oh, it's starting to feel like it's, put more on. It's buildable. You know about buildable things. You wear foundation probably. Put more on. Oh my gosh, my little five-year-old daughter, she's got a little chubby legs, they rub it. Put some on her. Oh, my mom, she be, put some on your mom, okay? I put it on everybody. I don't put it on my mom. And I tell my daughter how to put it on herself. And do you know what my daughter does? She puts it in her backpack. She carries it in her little like uh, thing for her summer camp, which she doesn't go anymore, but when she did, she has it at her daddy's house. We have it in the car. I keep it in my purse. Put it on, okay? Put it on. It's gonna save your thighs, big girl summer. And you know what? I bet Walmart sells it. I'm gonna link it down below. We are on a tangent of all tangents. Let me get into a new outfit. I'm just trying to give you toddler vibes in my 
succeeding here. This is not good for me personally, but there's nothing wrong with this garment, okay? Sometimes you gotta just be super objective. It's not about how it looks on you always. It's about the actual piece. It, they're nice. I like them. They feel like a high quality, no, yeah, I mean high quality, I don't know, but they feel like a, a good piece of denim and they have the functioning pockets every two seconds. Well, Sarah, why don't you turn your ringer off? I, I don't know, because I forget by the time I walk over there. These I again got on a 19 and they were 16.88, which is cool. Um, they're a little bit on the short side. I do really like the detail, like the added little bit on the front. I, I appreciate that. Um, I can get them both up, no problem. It's not too tight on the waist. It's a little short though. Again, I'm like right, I mean, that's basically right under my butt. Like I'm, I'm holding my butt cheek and that's the end of the denim. So that's like a little, little low for me. Oh, it's cute. It's not something I would actually see myself wearing, but I really like them. I think they're nice. Um, they have some give to them, but not a ton. So they definitely are structured. Oh man, I hope one of you guys buys these and you're like, oh my gosh, I look so good. I'm gonna send this picture to Sarah and tell her to call me Daisy, cause this is so cute. It's cute, it's just not for me, but I, I do like them. And then they have the big pocket in the front too, in case you wanna keep, uh, I don't know, gummy bears or, um, a pad, your phone, somebody else's phone, which I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you do. It, the tank top, a win. I really like it, it's so cute. Again, it's just like such a nice, the, it just has such a nice feeling to it. This one's ribbed, it's got the stretch to it. This is a no boundaries one, and it's an XXL in a size um, 19, again, and I think it was like five bucks, four bucks. Price tag's not on there, but it was very affordable. Um, and it's a full length. This. This is a really nice tank top, I really like it. <laughs> um, it's not looking too great here because these shorts are a problem. They don't fit, um, they're a size 19. Yes, I get them up, yes, I get them closed. No, I'm not comfortable whatsoever. They're also no boundaries, high rise, 11.98. Uh, functional pockets, not, not comfortable. Loose on the waist, tight. Uh, I'm sorry, loose on the lower back, tight on the waist. I just overall, I can't vouch for these. Maybe if I got them a size bigger, I'd probably like them, but I don't like the, the oh, God damn. I don't like the inconsistency of the sizing. I, I don't like, I don't like that these ones are so much more tight than all of the other ones that were the same size. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but um, I think one size bigger actually, these would actually be pretty nice. Again, they have a nice feel to them. Like they feel like a nice, pair of denim, like denim shorts, you know? And the inseam is a little bit longer, so we have a couple of inches to cover the thighs. So they do have some other longer shorts, it's just not really my style, it's not my vibe. I would put them on and probably not feel very good. So that's gonna translate <laughs> on uh, camera. But they did have some longer stuff, especially on the other side, if you wanted to check Walmart out and find some different lengths. I do have a four inch inseam coming up though, so stay tuned for that, because it's so pretty. Things are starting to go downhill. I barely got this hoodie over my freaking bulbous head. It made me feel bad about my giant head. Ah! Okay, so I like it otherwise though, right? It's cute, it's fun. I, the bottom doesn't look, I'm a bit of a hoodie connoisseur, so there are perfect hoodies in this, ain't it? The bottom doesn't quite stretch enough. Like it didn't expect for all of this to be down there. And you could always do the thing where you pull it up, you know, and now it's, it's over your butt, but but that only works when the shorts fit really well or the pants or whatever. These ones just don't. They're a little short. Um, nothing horribly wrong, but the fit's off. Look, the fact that you can see the lining from the pocket shows you that they're being stretched too far across my stomach. Again, a size 19, maybe in a 20 they would have been okay, but then I feel like the waist would have been a little off um, because it does have elastic in it, but it, but it like barely stretches. And then these are actually functional like drawstrings here, um, which I thought was a cute little touch. And they have some other varieties like this. I like that the inseam is longer. I like the hem of the short. I just don't, it wasn't executed well for me. It needs a little more release on the top half. The bottom half is totally fine. And the hoodie, it, it's so hard, it's so hard. Actually, I'm gonna try to take it off right now. This, I got in a, what? I got in an XXL and the hoodie was 12.88. As you can see, it's just a bunch of little 
MTV logos. Let's see. Okay, I managed to get the hoodie off without losing a lash. Go me. I am the kind of girl that just wears denim shorts and giant t-shirts pretty much all spring and summer long. That's my jam. This is like who I actually am on a day-to-day. -day. Me, this outfit, a mini backpack, and a pair of Adidas slides. You know, I switched the slides up. He is not making a smoothie right now. Like, he came in talking loud, and now he's making a smoothie. And now he's got, there's no respect. I get no respect in this house. So I don't think he knows I'm freaking filming, but Saved by the Bell tea, classic, a classic, an 80s baby classic. I, well, I was born in the late 80s, very, very late, but still an 80s baby. Um, didn't the dude die? What's his name? Dustin? So this is actually from the men's department, and it's in a size XL. I mean, sometimes I get a 2XL, sometimes it's just an XL. You kind of got to pick it up and look at it and be like, hmm. This one's perfect. It's not too tight in the arms, and it was like 10 bucks, I think, maybe less. 788, <laughs> baby, baby. They had a ton of graphic tees too, like all kinds of different stuff. So if you're looking to step up your graphic tee game, Target, oh, Meyer. If you have a Meyer near you, dang, I haven't looked. At, I haven't been there in a while. I always get like an Instacart thing, and I don't want an Instacart T-shirt because that's weird. So Meyer, Target, Walmart, they have great affordable tees, and uh, Rue 21. If you're looking for like pop culture oversized tees. They're great and affordable. Urban Outfitters, if you want to spend a little bit more, which you don't, why would you? So I would say those other places because that's they make great tees. We're ending on a low note because the shorts I have on are a little obscene, okay? Because like the camel toe that's protruding right now, I don't know, NSFW for sure. Um, the top is so cute though. So let's start here, right? The top's so cute. I think it was only like nine or $10. $9.96, oh, this one I grabbed in a 3XL, so it just has like an oversized kind of fit on the torso. I think that's what makes it so freaking cute though. And then the arms, honestly though, for a 3X, a little, little snug, but they're so lightweight that it's not uncomfortably snug, it's just definitely hugging the arm. How cute though, right? MTV, what's up? Oh look, and these are actually embroidered flowers. Wow, I like it more and more by the second. The shorts, these are actually time and true. Size 18, okay, so plus size, right? Size 18, 14 bucks, 13, 50, something like that. Hell no, you can already kind of see, I seriously can't even show you, like my whole vagine is just basically on display right now. Um, you can see it's, it doesn't fit well at all. They are way too tight, way too fitted all the way around. Um, just not, not constructed well, you know, in my opinion, especially for plus size. Um, the fact that the 18s are fitting tighter and worse than the 19s, which I know you might think, well, 18 is smaller than 19, but not really, because that's a junior's 19. So, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, time and true. I didn't enjoy that, but the swimsuits were great. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I have for today. Um, yeah, check back later for other things. I filmed three TikToks while I did this. Go me! I'm so excited. That looked, it's, it's so much work. I'm gonna go get another cup of coffee. If you wanna know what else I'm doing with my day, feel free to check out my vlog channel. I am vlogging today. And I will have links for everything that I can down below. And like I said, I think I'll do a Target one really soon too because they are releasing more and more. I might wait a few weeks to see how much more they drop like for the spring stuff. You let me know what you wanna see. Do you wanna see their denim? I don't do a lot of their denim. Do you wanna see their shorts? Do you wanna see their dresses? You just wanna see what's new and hot and flavorful at Target? You let me know. If you want styling videos to anything specific, feel free to let me know that too. I don't do a lot of styling stuff. Um, mostly I post like full outfits on Instagram and on TikTok, mostly on Instagram stories, so they disappear. So I really got nothing to vouch for that outside of people saying that they've seen them before. But I'm going out this weekend. Well, I went out, but I'm like, I have to get dressed this weekend. So, oh, it's Easter. Yeah, I am going to my parents' house. So um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing this weekend on my social stuff. So feel free to follow me there and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have an amazing day. And this is a cute ass shirt. If I had to buy anything again, it would be this. Yes, pink, love it. Vintage-y vibes and whatnot. MTV, do they even, is this even a logo anymore? I don't know, all they do is play freaking ridiculousness at this point. So it's really just Rob Dyrdek TV at this point.